Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SWF Showdown. We are on episode number seven here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We've got a great four-match show for you this evening. We're going to start things off with the Maidens. Let's get to it. Well, here we go, folks. As I said, Maiden's action starting off this episode of Showdown. Introducing first is Aaliyah Marie. Now, she was eliminated last in the eight-woman battle royal here on Showdown a couple episodes ago. She was eliminated by Malaysia. But Aaliyah Marie in singles action this evening. I don't believe we've seen her in a singles action unless other than when she faced off against Malaysia at the end there of that eight maiden battle royal where she put up one hell of a fight but in the end Malaysia came out on top Aaliyah Marie she's got the moves folks she's got the moves she got the looks she is ready to go Well, here we go, folks. The lights dim down to blue. The rock hits the speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, making her singles debut is Amaya Fox. Now, this matchup was made after that eight maiden battle royal where Amaya Fox was eliminated, clotheslined over the top rope by Aaliyah. That's right. These two ladies had at each other in that battle royal. And Aaliyah ended up getting the upper hand by sending Amaya Fox over the top rope with a huge clothesline and eliminating her from the Battle Royal. She makes her way into the ring. I'm not sure if I'm messing with somebody like Amaya Fox. She's got that Luna Vacon look with that haircut. Those tattoos. Oh. She's a pretty gal. Not somebody I'd want to run into in a dark alley, that is for sure. Well, here we go, folks. The fans take their seats. Aaliyah blows a kiss. Samaya Fox is ready to go. The ref rings the bell, and let's start things off. These two ladies meet up in the center of the ring in a snap suplex. Right off the bat from Amaya. Excuse me, from Aaliyah. I have a feeling that's going to happen a lot in this matchup. Oh! Nice reversal by Fox, and a crucifix brings her down to the mat. And Fox immediately jumps on her with a kick. Oh, up, and nice Hurricane Rana. A move I use quite often. We may see that soon, wink, wink. Fox, oh, nice kick to the face. But Aaliyah not giving up so easily. Look at that nice reversal. Neck breaker. These ladies showing out here in the opening bout of showdown. Over the top rope, my goodness, and a huge shoulder into the gut of Aaliyah sends her outside the ring. These fans get an up close and personal look here as these ladies are fighting just near the barricade. Oh boy. And Aaliyah looked to uh, maybe be taking her to the barricade. That metal steel blockade there from the between the fans and themselves and a big chop oh went for the drop kick nice job from Aaliyah to dodge it the ref is up to five or six now there it is the sixth call out and oh nice neck breaker into a double underhook suplex that is a fantastic move combination there from Amaya and the the ref counts to eight. Amaya jumps out onto the apron and back onto the floor to break the count and start over. Nice reversal. Oh, reverse DDT. That mat is there for their protection, but it is a thin mat. It is only about an inch thick, and oh boy, this could be bad. Look at this. Jeez Louise, what a suplex off of that second rope by Fox. 
took it, taking Aaliyah by surprise. And now, oof, point of the elbow right into the right into the forehead, right between the eyes of Aaliyah Marie. Amaya looking to possibly go for the pin. Yep, right there on the showdown logo. The ref gets down one. No, just a, a one count. And immediately locks her in, driving the elbows of the head right to, the, right to her head, excuse me. She's gonna pick her up and try to continue this punishment. And whatever she seems to go for right there, Aliyah Marie has it scouted every time. Ends up reversing, geez. Up to the second turnbuckle, big body splash. Nice move there by Aaliyah. And instead of going for the pin, she goes to inflict more punishment. Big kick, nice reversal. And a sweep of the leg. She took the leg, Johnny. And look at this, going up. Alley-oop, sending Aaliyah Marie hard into the mat. Tailbone first, goes for the pin. Is this gonna be it? No, just a one count here. And again, oh my goodness, again, driving the elbows right into the top of the head of Aaliyah. Amaya now gearing up. What are we about to see here? Again, reversed by Aaliyah. That is, that is perfect planning on her part to get through that. Oh, double axe handle. And as she makes her way around the ring, heading back up to the second rope, is she gonna go back for that splash? It doesn't look like it. She calls Amai up to her feet. Oh, devastating power bomb from Ali uh, Leah, excuse me, Amaya. Aaliyah went for possibly a Hurricane Rana and Amaya catches her power bombs her hard into the mat. Aaliyah not letting those elbows get to her this time is able to worm her way free. She's gonna send Amaya over the top rope, tells her to kiss it. Oh man, and she pays for that taunt. Look at that springboard DDT. Nice move there by Amaya Fox. Now she goes to the second rope and she tells Aaliyah, stand up, get to your feet. It's time to be done. Big, big front drop kick, right? Square to the face. She's gonna go down for the pin. One, no, just a one count. How do you get squared up right in the face? and kick out at one. Aaliyah not wanting to give up that easily. Amaya with the double underhook. Suplexes, oh! Double underhook DDT to end that one. These ladies really putting on a show here for us this evening on Showdown. Oh! Shot to the face, and now Aaliyah goes over the top rope. Amaya stands there staring at her and just catches her with a hot shot. She goes out down to the floor below. The ref starts the count. Amaya with the stomps. Now, picking Aaliyah up right here on the outside. Oh, su no. Looked like a suplex, but it was Quickly reversed, and look at this. Oh, geez, what a spine buster that was. Picked her up like a bag of flour and dumped her hard onto the mat. Oh, big shot to the face with the elbow there. And she's going to wisely move Amaya, Aaliyah away from... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Aaliyah from the ropes. Oh, that was close. She thinks it should have been three. The ref's telling her two. Amaya Fox going right back after here. Northern Lights. Taking it old school with the Northern Lights, the fundamentals. And an elbow right square in the chest. And again, back at it here. Kick to the stomach. Picks her up, oh! That double underhook suplex again. And she is not stopping, going right back at her, sending her across the ring into the corner. 
Oh boy. What is Amaya looking? Oh. Dives. Oh, nice move there. Doesn't go for the pin though. Oh, quickly gets down. Two and no. Right at two. Aliyah is able to kick out. Not going to let the elbows to the head happen again. Big chop right across the chest. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, the Aaliyah clash. She quickly goes for the pin. Smart move there. One, two. No. No. Amaya Fox not giving up that easily. And look at the Aaliyah's taking the opportunity. Get the fans on their feet and not get suplexed from the middle rope like before. That was quite the move from Amaya Fox. And now look at this, hanging on to her. Oh, into the corner, good Lord. Sending her out to the center of the ring. Puts her in the corner, shot to the back end. Oh, look out, oh, shoulder first. And now the stomps. Ooh, what a kick that was. She's gonna drag her out. Go for the pin, that's a smart move after that big drop kick. Just a two count. These girls are really showing us what they can do in the ring. And they are, neither one of these ladies are giving up. They do not want to stop this. And look at this. Oh, got her up. Hangs her over the top rope like yesterday's laundry. And look at this, going up. Oh, wheelbarrow, oh, wheelbarrow stunner. Nice move there by Aaliyah one. No, wow, just the one count. Drop kick to the back of the head, sends Fox back down. Oof, right to the kidneys. You've ever been blasted in the kidneys like that? It is not a good feeling. That hurts for days afterwards. Kick to the stomach now, again. Hooking her up, double underhooks, and we're gonna see it a second time. The trio of double underhooks. Bam, DDT right towards the center of the ring. And quickly goes for the pin after that. The ref down to count two. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Amaya Fox gets the victory off the double underhook suplexes and the DDT at the end. Wow. Great job by both of these women in their singles debut. And it looks like Maya's gonna stick out the hand. Aliyah shakes it. That's class right there, folks. That is class. Great matchup from both of these ladies. Well, moving right along, folks, we've got a newcomer to SWF. He is a newcomer in the sense that he hasn't been with us this season, but he has been around with SWF, PWA, NXT. A lot of people coming back, coming back to their home, coming back to the roots. And, and right now, we are about to find out who that person is. We see Vice making his way to the ring. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Wayne Level together. The production truck messed that up. Somebody's gonna get canned for that. Wayne Level on the left, Vice on the right. These two gentlemen, they are the cleaners. We are gonna see Wayne Level in singles action this evening as Vice is not ready to compete, not dressed out to compete this evening, but I'm sure if it came down to it, he would do what is necessary. Vice, as we know, currently embroiled in a battle with Leo McKay. And Wayne Level making his singles debut here on Showdown, and look at this. Their opponent, I say there, his opponent, also 
making his singles debut. We have seen him in tag team action. Ladies and gentlemen, being accompanied to the ring by Dino D. It is SDC. He is going to take on Wayne Level here tonight. Aggression makes their way to the ring. Now, this is a singles matchup. SDC will be taking on Wayne Level. Dino D and Vice will be standing ringside to make sure things stay kosher, make sure things don't get too out of hand, hopefully. Now the tag team division, ladies and gentlemen, is ramping up. We've got um, about, I think we've got four teams. Now we've got the Cleaners, we've got Aggression, the Fallen Kingdom, and a new team. I don't think they uh, have been announced yet. They will debut on the next Rebellion. STC, Dino D stand before you. And as I said, singles matchup here tonight. I'm going to have to ask Dino D to step out of the ring here and ask Mr. Level to step in as we start this singles matchup with tag team partners on the outside. Wayne Level is ready. SDC, he is ready. Ref checks both men, rings that bell, and things are gonna start off with SDC grabbing Level, has him up. Holy cow, a tornado. Body slam, what a move that was. Quite interesting if I say so myself. Level with the reversal. And he's got him up. Nice suplex there from Wayne. And as I said, Wayne Level came back here to SWF. He was part of NXT so many years ago. But now he is back home here with Southern Wrestling Federation and Myself, CM Puma. Elbows to the head of SDC. Level looking to show a worthy performance here. Nice suplex there. Why he belongs in SWF, why they call him and vice the cleaners. SDC up to his feet. No, dodges a drop kick from Wayne. But Waits just long enough for Wayne to, good night. Big kick right to the face of the aggression member here. Dino D having a hard time understanding what's happening. Nice spinning neck breaker there. Level in control. Cranking away at the neck. Dino D cringing along with SDC. There on the outside, take a look at your partner, says Wayne Levels. He hooks in the Dragon Sleeper, but I think SDC may have been a little close to the ropes. Arm breaker there. SDC sending Wayne across the ring. Nice job by Level to figure out what was going on early. And he ducked that clothesline, delivered his own, but gets his legs taken out. Big shot to the face. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. SDC bringing out all the moves. Going for the pin here. No, not even a one count, wow. Oh, kicks him right back down to the mat. And a kick to the chest area, drop kick. Wayne Level is reeling now, folks. SDC's gonna pick him up. Quickly goes back down, drops the elbow across the knee. And what has he got planned here? He took the long way around, headed up to the second rope. Second rope, Phoenix Splash, my goodness. What a move there by SDC, but no. Wayne is gonna stop that in a throwback, or a flashback. Who knows, I don't know what that move's called. Oh, goes for a super kick, dodges it and catches a bicycle knee right to the chin. But not giving up. SDC probably should have gone for the pin after that. Wayne does go for the pin after the shoulder block. SDC kicks out. Absorbs a kick to the back. 
in the corner now. Oh, nice reversal from Level. Look at the rapid kicks to the body. He is fired up and a big boot right across the face. Level now getting SDC set up and a bicycle knee of his own right to the jaw. He's going to grab SDC. Go for the pin here. This might be it, folks. And it looks like the ref is distracted. Dino D has climbed up on the ring apron. That could have been the end of the match, but Dino stops him. Look at the roll up here. He, one, two. SDC rolls level up. Two. Wow. Wow. With the distraction from Dino D and the roll up. SDC steals one away. Look at the bicycle kick right to the face. Steals one away from Level here in Level's singles debut with SWF this season. My goodness. Look at Level ramping up. Big knee to the face. And unfortunately, Dino climbs up on the apron and prevents or distracts the ref from getting the pin. Look at this, as we see there in the background. And SDC ends up sneaking one out and getting the victory over Wayne Level. Well, that was a great matchup. Wayne really showed what he had to offer here in SWF. He'll get another shot, I'm sure, at aggression in the near future. Great matchup by both of these gentlemen. Moving right along now, we've got a second maidens matchup. Now both of these ladies participated in that eight woman maidens battle royal. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring with a flip. And the pyro, ladies and gentlemen, this is Quinn, just Quinn, just the one name for her. And look at the sass going on with Quinn. As I said, she was part of that eight maidens battle royal. Unfortunately, did not win. Of course, that battle royal was won by Malaysia. But what do we have in store for us here tonight from Quinn and her opponent? We will find out shortly. And her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, as the blue fills the arena, it seems like that is the color of choice to make your entrance. Pyro going off everywhere. It's a good thing these superstars have to pay for their own pyro. Ladies and gentlemen, our first female luchadora, our first masked female, she is fired up. Look at her go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Faria the Falcon Fury. And she is pumped. Look at the attire, the headdress, the wings. This lady is ready to go. And she is, look how ramped up she is. Pyro going off. I don't think she's actually getting a check tonight uh, just from all the pyro that she's used. M more pyro, yeah. You're not getting paid, Faria. I, I hate to say that, but uh, you pretty much just used up your whole your whole payment there. Look at all the pyro going off. Her pyro alone costs more than the production of this entire show. You are killing us, Mrs. Falcon Fury. Well, let's get this match underway. Quinn makes her way to her feet. Faria ready to go. All right, there we go. A little handshake there between 
competitors, not bad. The bell rings, and these women started off with a flatliner from Quinn, my goodness. Shot to the back, Quinn's gonna start off early here. Now I'm not sure if that mask, if that particular mask causes, oh nice reversal, and look at this. Pump handle, fallaway slam, my goodness. I'm not sure if the mask there with the wings causes an issue with headlocks. Oh, nice move there. With getting her in a headlock or just grappling her in general, we will have to see how it affects Quinn. Wow. Going for the pin there. One, no. Just a one count, Quinn not giving up so easily. Oh my gosh, what a kick by Faria. She's gonna send Quinn across ropes. Ref, you might wanna watch out. Goes to pick her up and drops Faria down on her face with that arm breaker. Big right hand there, DDT, that didn't look like the mask caused any kind of issue right there. Quinn gives us the two sweet and right back in this match. Oh my goodness, Faria eating the boot of Quinn. She gets down for the pin. Ref counts, nope, just a one count. Boy, Quinn fed that boot quite nicely across the face of Faria. And look at this. Jumps up and gets in her face, boom! The Quinn cutter and crawls over, is that gonna be it? Is that gonna be that quick? No. Just a two count after the Quinn Cutter. Faria is laid out and gets dropped on, knees first, right across the midsection. It doesn't look like our first ever Luchadora is doing so well. Oh, tosses her right back down. Maybe the, the wings just add that little bit of to grab onto, who knows. Reverse DDT. Faria's um, attire is quite interesting compared to what we've seen from the less, rest of these ladies. Airplane spin into a cutter. Nice move by the Falcon. Look at this, off the second rope. Oh! Hurricane run a short run, I believe that's called. One of my favorite moves so far into the corner she is moves out of the way hops back in the ring big right hand and around the world she goes with that power slam what a move from the falcon kick down to the chest and oh look i thought she might have gone with the pin instead she's gonna send quinn across the ring and again oh shot to the ear around the ring post and kicks Quinn right in the face. Quickly jumps in and goes for the pin. Smart move there. One, two. No, Quinn kicks out at two. What a spectacular move, if I'm not mistaken. We saw Siler Jordan ugh, using that move in the last Rebellion episode. Into the corner goes Quinn. Sorry, I might have something evil planned. Outside the ring on both sides. Faria dives, look at that. DDT through the ropes, what an amazing move. Fantastic move. The crowd chants, this is awesome and I have to agree. Great job from both of these ladies so far. But who's gonna come out on top? Is it gonna be our first ever luchadora? Is it gonna be Quinn? To find out, you gotta get in the ring. Ref count is up to five, and just as I say that, both of these ladies back in the ring. Up to her feet now, and again, force-fed the boot of Quinn. That could end it all right here, folks. The ref down to count after the boot to the face. Faria kicks out, Quinn scratching her head on what she has to do. She's got Faria set up, Quinn Cutter, the second one, 
She drags herself over to the limp body too. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Quinn has picked up her first victory here in SWF against Fiery after two Quinn cutters. And look at this, just eat the boot. Two of those from Quinn as we see another shot there of the Quinn, Qu Quinn Cutter, excuse me. And look at Faria around the world with a kick right into the face. And that second eat defeat from Quinn. And ladies and gentlemen, she is your winner. She's sassy, she's happy with win number one. Where does she go from here? Well, folks, with our main event of the evening, it is another person from a tag team, Malcolm Black, taking on, oh, good Lord, the newest member to the SWF roster. We have uh, trying, been trying to get this person on staff for quite some time. He has been unavailable, and then when we were available, he's been available when we were unavailable. And after years and years of uh, this person trying to get to SWF, he has finally made it. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Michael Draven. He is going to be facing off against one half of the tag team from the Fallen Kingdom and Malcolm Black. Can he pull out a victory here in his debut on Showdown and in SWF? Or will the Fallen Kingdom enter another one into its gates? Let's find out as Michael makes his way down to the ring here. And as I said, here on Showdown, these superstars pay for their own pyro. And it looks like Mr. Draven may not be getting a check either. As his whole entrance has been pyro with the lights off. We'll have to see what he even looks like as soon as the lights come up. I mean, it's pitch black in here. I can't see my hand right in front of my face. Ow! Yep. That hurt. The bell rings. Michael Draven is near the ring, I'm assuming. On the steel steps as the fire rains from the posts. He is awfully close to that flame. Slowly climbing into the ring here. And the only lights coming in this arena are from the flashes and the fire and pyrotechnics coming from the corners of the ring. Michael Draven, ladies and gentlemen. The lights come back up and good Lord almighty. Look at this crazy person. Well, he is gonna have his hands full as Malcolm Black emerges from the golden curtain. He is gonna make his way down to the ring. As you can see, wearing his Fallen Kingdom shirt, and as I said before, one half of the team with Bruiser Brad in the Fallen Kingdom. So we have the Fallen Kingdom, we have the Cleaners, Aggression, and one other tag team that will debut soon if I'm not mistaken, on the next Rebellion. But right now, we got one-on-one -on -one action. Draven steps out of the ring as Black shows off what possibly could happen to Mr. Draven with an elbow across the face. Draven looks, I'm assuming he's ready. Malcolm Black definitely looks ready. Refs rings that bell, and he's gonna start off with a pop-up Meteora. Draven not sure what just happened. Black going to town with him on those stomps, and a 
Nice head scissors. And in this opening few minutes of this matchup, it is all Malcolm Black as he is twerking on the neck and head of Draven, who's slowly stumbling up to his feet. Look at this. Flipping power bomb. Ref goes down one, two. Wow. Wow, a bit unexpected. But ladies and gentlemen, Malcolm Black gets the victory right here in the main event of Showdown. These two guys. Draven says, good job, you got one over on me. Does Malcolm Black shake his hand? He does. SWF is full of class. Draven leaves the ring willingly and allows Malcolm to celebrate. That is going to be it for us folks here on Showdown. Thank you so much for joining us. Come back soon where we have the next episode of Rebellion.